Okay, I want to do a quick video on uh, the C6 low roller inner race and its influence on overall transmission in play or gear train in play. So I don't see it mentioned too often in the literature in manuals or discussed in forums and such, uh, magazine articles or whatever, but the, the low roller race has a tremendous amount of influence on your overall in play. Uh, and I would say even more so than the selective washer that goes in behind the pump. And the reason for that is quite simply everything inside the barrel of the case rests on top of this race. And what folks may not be aware of is the fact that not all of these races are exactly the same thickness, you know, along this dimension here. So have two C6 races. Uh, they came out of um, post 70s, uh, I think a 79 and an 87 uh, C6 uh, transmission. One came out of a two-wheel drive, the other came out of a 4x4 application, but uh, that's not important. What's important is is that you'll notice that the race um, dimensions along this, you know, you know, this dimension right here, height or thickness, are different, and I mean significantly different. So, this race is 190 thousandths or 1.090 thick. This one's 145 thousandths thick or 1.045. So that's a 45 thousandths difference, which is greater than the maximum amount of end play that uh, this transmission, you know, is specced for. So if you have to swap out your race for whatever reason, maybe it has some heat damage or, you know, some really bad scoring or something like that. You want to make sure you measure the thickness of that race and try to get a race that is as close to that thickness as possible. Uh, if you purchase a race or acquire a race that's significantly thicker than the race that you're taking out of there originally came in, in the transmission, you're going to have uh, problems with end play. And no amount of swapping selective washers behind the pump is going to change that. More than likely, you're going to find that you have either zero end play or you have uh, what's called preload. In other words, you have an interference fit between the pump and the rest of the guts inside the case. So either condition is not, not acceptable. It's, you know, certainly can't go back together like that. Uh, if you have an interference fit, you'll know it immediately because none of the internals will actually rotate or be locked up. So just be aware of that um, and, you know, uh, take that into consideration when in fact you have to you know, go in and replace hard parts, including the race. Now, <clears throat> if you measured your transmissions end play prior to disassembly, which is something you always should do, and it's within spec, spec being um, eight thousandths to 44 thousandths travel uh, between that drum and the, uh, the selective washer at the base of the pump, then, um, you know, as long as you're not replacing any hard parts inside the unit on reassembly, you should be fine. But if you have to start replacing a lot of hard parts, maybe, you know, uh, drums or planetary carriers or r anything else, um, you know, in addition to putting in all new thrust washers and such, um, and especially if you have to replace the low roller race itself, you know, you're, you're going to want to measure the thickness of your race and try to match it to the extent possible. Um, and I would uh, err on the side of, you know, getting one slightly thinner than the one you have if you have the thicker a thicker thrust washer. I think the thickest one's ninety thousandths, um, you know, thick for that you know that selective washer there. Uh, conversely, if you have a thinner thrust washer, then you may want to um, err on the side of um, being a little bit thicker with the new race. But certainly, you do not want to have a difference of forty five thousandths between your uh, your existing race and any new race that you might acquire. So. Again, just wanted folks to be aware of that. Um, I don't see it discussed much or mentioned, so uh, wanted to put that out there. Thank you for watching.